Everybody wish Kinsley a happy birthday. Oh, 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 the guy's one left. I have decided that I'm going to make my own lime wash pee. Oh. <laughs> oh. If it's all that easy, I will be shocked. guys good morning welcome back to the vlog i'm a little bit you know just like trashed out because my mom was like let i gotta get some home, home depot stuff we're going to a different hardware store i'm gonna attempt this whole i need all these things from the hardware store again also you guys <laughs> it's kinsley's birthday it's kinsley's birthday everybody wish kinsley a happy birthday she is five years old today She's like, what is happening? Oh, I love you. I've been singing to her all morning, all night at midnight. I'll be back, okay? Stay, stay, Kinsley. I'll be back. Stay, stay. Okay, we are gonna attempt all this again. Because I was very unsuccessful at the hardware store the other day. I really need wood to finish. I need plaster of Paris. We couldn't find that. I need the wood to do the shelving. Couldn't find that. Uh dirty <laughs> what is wrong with me i guess i should get that list it's in my car dowels oh i don't think they had any lime wash at all okay let's go see bye mama bye. the other day at the hardware store was a total fail for me like remember i kept telling you everything was out like with two hardware stores hoping someone hasn't cleaned out the plaster of paris or what else was I looking for? Oh, the pine 12 inch words. She doesn't know what I'm talking about. No. This kid's the first thing. I know. Five years. Five. Five years with my little nugget bunny. Love her so Olivia too. Five. She's yeah, Olivia. Five. Five. She's, a, she's a couple months older than Kinsley right now. I think Kinsley needs a brother when she's like seven. Because Kinsley loves to share. Kinsley does not like to share. No. Okay, let's try this again. Fingers crossed for me. Uh, <laughs> for me. Oh, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> All my fingers oh. held on to that case. Well, it's an experiment. I bombed on that. I may have to look up where this is supposed to be because, oh, 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 oh. You guys, they have them. I don't know why. I like I struck out the other day. Now I'm finding everything. One by 12 by eight. I only need six foot, but I knew I would have extra and I could always use it for other projects. Okay, we need 20. 46, 97 each. I was hoping it would be like in the 30s. See how much your shelving would cost. 46, 97 times $900. Let's take a gander just a little, let's, let's look through just a little bit. Primed is more expensive, that's $60 a board. The only thing cheaper would be common boards. One by 12 by eight is $25. Look at that, like, look at that big move. Like, that's not gonna be good quality. Let's see what the difference would be. $400 difference between common boards and good pine. Poplar's gonna be even more expensive. I don't even know where it is, but I, I know it's by it's by the linear foot. And they don't even have any. They're all out. Yeah, I'll buy some more. It'll be sure. 960 a linear sure foot. Oh yeah, seventy-six dollars for eight feet. That'd be fifteen hundred. So that's like the difference. Fifteen hundred for poplar and then nine hundred for pine and then five something for like the lesser quality wood. Middle of the ground. Well, we gotta do it. We need shelving.
we have now. Okay, the way that I'm doing the shelves is basically like a, a box. I'm putting a brace along the wall and then a board on top of the brace and a board on the bottom. So it makes a floating shelf. Um, we only have to worry about the front, obviously, for the closing up the space between the two boards. They don't have any three inch and that's what I needed. Uh, well, they do, but they're really bad. So what they do have is four inch. So I'm trying to problem solve. So since they have good four inches, I could cut these down and slim these down and use the extra inch for my brace because that's what I need, an inch brace. Then I don't have to buy the dowels. I can just use the same wood for the inside and get good pieces. So these are 15, 20 a piece, but I only need them for the fronts. So at most, I only need 10 if I do five shelves on each side. Sorry, <laughs> I was flying towards you. advantage of mama's car you found, you found good stuff too mama fj everybody tries to buy i know everyone want it blows my mind how interested people are in this brand of car i don't i don't see the allure but apparently it's in high demand oh won't be after we ruin it yeah <laughs> The next day actually kind of the afternoon now i was editing 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 uh what was i editing <laughs> a couple of different things for you guys i was editing um an upcoming bedroom makeover that you guys are going to see uh this coming this sunday very soon <laughs> it's, it's very soon um so i was editing that up that's gonna be all done. I'm just getting computer work done. And then I was standing here trying to figure, today I'm working on the hearth, the brick hearth. And I was trying to figure out the dimensions and overall, like what, like what am I doing? I feel like I have to, to actually figure all of this out before I ever go outside to get material or even go to the store and get material. So this project is all either scrap material or salvaged pieces, uh, obviously the salvaged brick. The only thing I needed was the mortar. So I did go ahead and get the concrete mortar to use. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're creating like a box and you guys will see this in the renovation video, but this is kind of how I try and figure it out. I'm like, okay, that what is, what are the sizes of the brick? So that's, you know, gonna be my finished measurement with the brick all there. So I have to minus the measurement from the brick from the box because I'm actually building a box out of two by fours and plywood to, to attach to the floor and the fireplace for the brick to sit on because it's not solid brick. I'm not gonna um, put the bricks on top of each other to build the, the thing. I'm just gonna create a box and then put it on there because I don't have a ton of bricks. I have 76 to be exact. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> 76 to be exact. So I figured by building the box out of scrap material, it would limit the amount of bricks that I needed um, and just just not it's unnecessary to have that many bricks. So I think I figured it out. I needed to figure out the finished box size before I added the brick. And then also I'm adding plywood on top of the two by four. So I had to subtract the, the dimension of the plywood. <laughs> Math. I had to do a lot of math. So I finally figured it out that I need to make four two by four boxes to go or to go in front of the fireplace. And then I'm gonna put plywood on top, on the front and on the sides, and then I'm gonna put a brick on top. And I figured it out. So that's what I was doing. While this water heated up on my little, oh, see, it's almost done. On my little <laughs> stove top electric heater because I'm hungry. <laughs> and I don't have my oven installed yet. It would be so much faster, but it literally takes like 
20 minutes for water to boil on this little stovetop. So big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's vlog. You guys know I love them. Ever since this menu item came in, which is a favorite of mine, I've been drooling for it. I am making it. It's happening. Silky Sicilian penne. So good. There's no protein in this one, but I could have added it, which is part of their Hello Custom. So I could have, it says here, if you choose to modify your meal, uh, I could have added shrimp or chicken breast. Should have done that. I didn't think about it. But we're making this regardless. If you guys have ever seen me um, make HelloFresh before, you know all the ingredients come pre-packaged together, which saves you on food waste. Um, also saves you time because everything's bundled together, comes straight to you. So we have the pasta, ooh, zucchini, tomatoes, chives, mushrooms. This could be like a veggie pasta, you know? Romeo and I obviously love having HelloFresh year round, but especially with the upcoming holiday season, I already feel myself getting super busy, not having time to run to the grocery store, our grocery store is also 30 minutes away. I don't like to do that. So this makes it super easy to have fresh, good meals in the fridge every week. I even cook a two portion recipe for myself and then have one now and then one for later. So it even saves me more time. And they have really yummy seasonal favorites coming back for the holidays, like turkey and black bean chili, mushroom ravioli, and sweet corn chowder. Delivering quality ingredients is a priority for HelloFresh. So ingredients travel from the farm straight to your home in less than seven days. And if you need dinner in a hurry, they have quick and easy options like 20 minute meals and meals that are only like one pan. So they're super easy to clean up and cook. And HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. This is where the people eat, not you. Kinsley. I have had this recipe in various forms before and I love it. It's like with the lemon, it's like the right amount of like citrus and ah, it's really good. So if you guys wanna mm -hmm. try out HelloFresh, you can go to hellofresh.com and use code McKenna60 for 60% 60 off and free shipping. This is gonna give me fuel to build that box and to build a hearth. <laughs> I've got to do it today. I feel like it's happened a lot with this house. It's like I'm doing most of these products for the very first time. When I haven't done something before, I procrastinate. And I've done a lot of other projects that seem to be more like eat come easier to me, I feel like. And I just like I hesitate to dive into it and I need my brain to process it more. And so today is the day we have to do it. I'm really glad that we were able to find the majority of the wood for the shelving. I still need nine boards. I think would we get like 11 yesterday. So I'm just kind of waiting for the, the home improvement stores to like restock basically. It's like I need more of those 12 inch boards. Mm. I'm gonna eat this real quick and then we'll head back to the shed and start pulling out the brick. I know I have to clean them up, like knock off some old mortar. So it's gonna be a little bit of legwork before we can actually like install the brick, you know? I got all the dishes clean so I don't have to do it later. I think I know what, okay. I think I know what this is because <laughs> I have decided that I'm going to make my own lime wash paint. Thank goodness Kelsey and Becky of the Sorry Girls did it first so that I can, <laughs> it would be easier for me. Um, it, it, the, lime wash paint is not readily available. You can order it online, but then you have to order the sample of it and get it in and test it. And it's um, you're kind of limited to the colors that they offer, right? It's not as, you don't have as many lime wash paint colors as you do like regular paint colors where, you know, I can go to Benjamin Moore and pick any color I want, and it's, I know that I can get the undertones I want. So, I watched the Sorry Girls video, and they did it. So I can't wait to do it. So I ordered this, literally, I ordered this yesterday, literally. Natural pigments. So this is what you put into the lime and water mixture. Lime, water, and salt, actually. I think there's a whole, a whole combination, which we're gonna be exploring, but um, this is what dyes it the color that you want. So I bought the brown pack of what they recommended. Very rich, right? And I'm curious. I mean, we're gonna do a combination of these. I'm, I honestly feel like this France Natural Umber one is gonna be the color I want. But if it's not red enough, we're gonna add some of this. 
you know? So we can really get like the right undertone. I will leave this linked for you too, if you as well want to do this, be on this adventure with me. And I will show you the whole process in the renovation video. Um, I need to watch their video probably seven more times before I start, but I did order all the supplies. So they, these came today. The salt is coming tomorrow. And then the lime is actually, I, I saw it at the hardware store when I was there getting the mortar. So I'm just gonna pick that up and we're gonna do it ourselves. We're gonna do it, we're, we're, we're gonna go for it. And if you, like me, don't have readily available access to lime wash paint, because they don't really sell it at the hardware stores, and it's kind of a specialty thing, we can do it together. Also, something else I got. I have a box from Anthropology coming, because I know I wanna use ribbon, velvet ribbon, for Christmas. I have bought ribbon from them before, and it's just like the cream of the crop when it comes to velvet ribbon. I've done a lot of DIYs with it. It doesn't feel cheap and it's not cheap. You kind of, like my mom says, cheap ain't pretty and pretty ain't cheap. So that's just how it is. But I really did want to find a um, budget friendly alternative, especially because I do want to use a lot of it. So I saw this one on Amazon and I ordered it to test it out and see. It's pr really skinny. It's actually quite pretty, definitely not quite as high quality as the anthropology that I'm getting I'm getting in, but we can compare them. Also lighter, it's more of like a yellow taupe rather than a gold. This one's called Vintage Khaki. I guess that is a vintage khaki. Vintage Khaki Velvet Ribbon. This is a 3 8 inch, but it's 25 yards which is quite a lot. Kind of trying to get all of those elements ready for Christmas. I'm gonna celebrate Romeo's birthday um, at the beginning of November. And then when we get back here to the cottage, it is full swing Christmas decorating, which is why I've got to get this living room done. Ugh. Okay, we got to go out to the shed and get some bricks. Put on my sneakers because I mean business. I need some gloves because bricks, you know. I think I'm gonna haul some bricks in the wheelbarrow, but I'd like to not have to cut any bricks at all for this project. That would be like so ideal. So that's what we're trying to plan for. I'm just gonna start pulling them out. Oh. <laughs> I don't put all those graceful moments that I have in the renovation video. Maybe I do. Who knows? Two wheelbarrows full over here. I just Maybe I can lay them out and actually figure it out. I tried to figure it out like the, the width of the brick and I was just like, I think maybe I'm gonna need around 55, but I'm not sure. Oh, all right, let's see. How am I gonna get this off? Oh. Okay, if it's all that easy, I will be shocked. That would be incredible. Hold on, let me, let me get some tools. I'm thinking a scraper will do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. This is not going to be that hard. Okay, let me film. starting to get dark already. Look at all these I've done. So I'm a visual person. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like a lot of us are. And <laughs> instead of a whole bunch of math to try and figure out, probably not a whole bunch. I'm over exaggerating. I just don't want to do it. Uh, <laughs> instead of that, I'm like literally, I stack two bricks on top of each other because that's the top. It's going to be two bricks deep. Like, not like this, but like more like that, right? So I'm, I'm like, okay, I need two for this position, two for that position, and I'm literally spacing them out just about a, I don't know, like a quarter of an inch. I'm thinking like for the mortar and stuff. So I'm putting them next to each other, and then I'm gonna measure it and see how many, see how many. That's literally what I'm doing. How many I need to make 68 inches across. So 
this measures. Oh, we're getting close. 54 inches. I probably need three more stacks. So six more bricks will make the top. Then we have to do in the front. I need one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. I need 21 more just to complete the top and the front, and then I need some for the sides, so I gotta keep going. Okay, it is definitely getting darker now. Look at all of these. So I lined them all up so I can count, you know, like, okay, I have that row completed. So I'm thinking the top complete, this, this side complete, the front complete. I just need four for the other side. And all of my bricks have the concrete on it. So some is less than others, but I've attempted to get them all off and it's a little bit struggling. So, I mean like this one, for instance, like it just has that little bit. So I can work on it again um, tomorrow. I also have two bricks that are imprinted with the name. I can't say, Dehanis? De Dehanis? It's a local, I don't know. There's something about it in this town. But I only have two that were savable, that were complete one has concrete all over it but the other one doesn't really just a little bit right there i'd like to put it like maybe on the side so i could use that for over here and just i just need to figure out literally just four more so i feel like that was an accomplishment it just definitely took me a while i was right with the math i knew i needed about 50 50 55 somewhere in there so i needed 53 and we have enough. I just, some of them have like that concrete on it. So I don't know if it'll, I just don't want it to make it uneven. You know, like when I'm, it's on the sides really. So as long as I do lighter mortar there, maybe it will still be okay for just four of them. We shall see. But this was, this was a success for today. I feel like I'm going to take my camera. I've been out here for a while. Kinsley's probably like, what are you doing, mom? That sweet baby's laying on the couch. Honey, Kinsley has a sock. I, I gotta go take these clothes off, baby. I got powder and stuff on them. She has a spa day in the morning. She has been way overdue for a haircut. Um, so, she <laughs> are you gonna show everybody that you need a haircut? Look at this baby's face. <laughs> She's cute though. <laughs> that in the morning. Um, and then tomorrow, I'm just gonna work on this living room all day. That's like my only plan, my only to-do list item. I don't have to do any computer work, which is great. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of editing tonight. Okay, I gotta always close.